Local governments and businesses in Japan are getting ready to dig further into what they call urban mines. A new law takes effect in April and will encourage people to recycle cell phones and game consoles. Company managers are eager to get their hands on more of the rare metals found in those electronic gadgets. NHK World's Daichi Ishii has the story. Almost everyone in Japan now carries at least one cell phone. The question is what happens to them after they are tossed away, replaced by new models. It's a drag to take them back to the store for recycling. I guess I've got five or six of them at home. Many people just keep their old phones lying around at home. The number of used phones collected for recycling has declined over the past 10 years. Officials of the city of Tsukuba near Tokyo have started gathering them. They have set up collection boxes at discount electronic stores. They're hoping that buyers of new phones will leave the old ones behind. Besides cell phones, officials are asking city residents to turn in things like digital cameras and game consoles. Used appliances such as cell phones are called urban mines in Japan. Take cell phones, for example. 16 types of rare metals are used in each of them. They include indium for liquid crystal displays and tantalum for circuit boards. This refinery has been in business for 100 years. It has recently begun tapping precious resources scattered around in town. The company used to mine copper in nearby hills. It played its part in Japan's modernization. Now, it has set up a plant exclusively for recycling rare metals. It's digging urban mines. This plant is capable of recovering 16 rare metals. Among them is indium, which is indispensable for LCDs. Our company has a history of 100 years, plus the technologies we've developed over the years. We're hoping to collect as many precious metals as possible for recycling. Another company is tackling problems trying to process rare metals. An electronic substrate is packed with parts that contain rare metal. It takes time and effort to take out this yellow part only. It contains tantrum which helps keep electric current stable. So far, all we have been able to do is pick this thing out by hand. So the company has developed a line for automatic selection of parts for recycling. It received help from the government. First, parts on the board are taken apart. At this point, they don't know where they can find the yellow part they are looking for. So, they sift through all the parts, those of similar sizes are collected. Then, the force of wind is used. That yellow part is very light, and it's winnowed out. Finally, a magnet. It removes the part they don't need. The targeted rare metal has been extracted. Recyclers are excited about this untapped resource. They hope mining household electronics for rare metals will help them strike gold. Deutsch Ishi NHK World.